Hello, chess aficionados. It seems the last few days, a uh, world champion, former world champion, Kramnik, has uh, now demanding an examination of uh, GM Hikaru's games on chess.com. And this is uh, the petition that he has put out there on uh, change.org. It says, I demand, it means, it means Kramnik, that Nakamura's abnormal results on chess.com, such as those he showed over the last 60 days, be examined by chess.com. And that all of the chess world be kept informed of the results. Now, I'm, I'm, uh, this video is being made on 11 27, 2023, mean November 27, which is summer, Cyber Monday in the United States, where it's supposedly great deals. We're here. Uh, we're getting a great deal on uh, clicking content because, uh, you know, what's life uh, without drama? And this is the kind of drama we've been given. So let's uh, listen to what Kramnik has said, just a snippet of it. Absolute record of chess.com uh, uh, was 3,340. So it's like almost 300 elo points uh, higher than the, you know, than the best possible rating somebody ever had on chess.com. 300 is really a lot. And uh, what is the most important, it's not played in 5 or 10 games, 46 games. It's a lot. It's a lot, so it means, okay, uh, it's clearly, well, something to to check. Uh, I'm convinced about it. And then the, okay, let's go further. The second one, that one is the best, uh, my favorite, I would say. Okay, the average rating 27.37, not that high. Still, it's, well, those players are not passers, so to say. They can play chess, definitely. Uh, and... Uh, the performance, I mean, Hikaru uh, won all 55, I repeat, 55 games in a row. Of course, the idea is that all those games are in a row. So 55 out of 55. You cannot even count the performance because, yeah, because it's like goes to space. I mean, it's uh, infinite. Uh, but, um, okay, uh, if somebody thinks that making 55 out of 55 in a row is uh, totally normal, even for Hikaru Nakamura, I, I would disagree. I would disagree, and I'm pretty sure that all people who play chess professionally, and, uh, you know, they will, yeah, they will agree with me that this is a very, very difficult thing to do. I mean, uh, and whoever are your opponents, you know, you can always blunder a pawn or at least something. Yeah, I mean, just to win all games, so many games, it's very unusual. So that is the second one. Then, okay, let's... Okay, so he continues on and let's see what uh, Hikaru has to say uh, regarding these uh, requests, requests for investigating his games at chess.com. Let's see. Seven. That is a 600 point differential. So the odds of me beating this Turkish kid like 16 games in a row, I think are like actually extremely high because there's a 600 point differential. You're supposed to win something like 98% of your games, I believe. So, um, that that needs to be said. Uh, but let's, let's keep going. Um, out of those 35,000 games, most can't be included if you have at least a basic understanding of analyzing data. Again. Kramnik should explain what he means by this, because uh, I literally only play games on stream. Um, that's that's what I do. I play games on stream. All the data is out there. You can you can literally watch all my videos on YouTube. In fact, I recommend Kramnik does. I mean, I definitely. Okay. I think I can do my commercials. Okay. Let's okay. Let's continue. I definitely would appreciate the ad revenue from Kramnik going over all those videos um, where he thinks there's something I did that wasn't right. And, um, the you know, the videos speak for themselves, as I like to say. Because I literally have not played off stream in probably um, three years. And even beyond the Chess Champions Tour, of course, chess.com slash chess24, they have, the, they have all the footage of, the, of that, too. So um, at the end of the day, I mean, it's, it's very strange that Kramnik says this doesn't, and doesn't provide any data. All right. Um... And he says, and those in fact, 46 game streaks, one of many has performed this year. So if you don't take numbers brutally and calculate probabilities of true data, true data, by the way, which is also interesting, the real number leaves no doubt. This is why faking numbers and sending bots here, shouting nervously and playing a victim, have started on full mounting app. Well, unfortunately for Kramnik, there are a couple of things. Um, I would have to have an ego literally 100 times the size of my ego, and it would have to be beyond chess 
to uh, literally pay people, pay bots to come and post comments. I think it's very disrespectful of Kramnik. You know, when you look at the world of chess, there's so many people in chess who give Kramnik a lot of credit for being the world champion. They take him at his word, they give him respect. And for Kramnik to basically be insulting all of these mathematicians, all these statisticians who provided their name, made posts, used actual mathematical figures, um, it's very, very disrespectful, and to me, I think it shows that Kramnik simply has no respect for anybody at the end of the day, because this is these are not my stats. These are stats from people who've worked in the field, people who know what they're talking about. Kramnik is not an expert in the field. He did not even go to high school. Um, of course, to be fair, I'm not trying to say that I'm some genius or I have some great education either, but Kramnik did not even go to high school. So for Kramnik to put out this stuff and act like he's right and everybody's wrong, is very very disappointing. Um, you know, I don't. Th I think even even Elon Musk, for example, who owns Twitter, I don't think Elon could probably like ha have like a hundred thousand bots go out there and post comments. And he's literally like one of the most powerful guys, and he of course I think is the richest as well in the world. I don't think even he could do that. Um, so for Cram to do this is very sad. Now I will finish this. He says. Um, might convince some people without mathematical knowledge, but wouldn't do for most. Enough educated and most decent IQ people to understand everything and create the opinion about this whole story. So we'll not manage to hide the truth, those guys. Now, what's really sad about this is that Kramnik is looking at this from a very specific angle, or at least in my opinion this is, which is that Kramnik thinks I'm being loud about this because I've done something wrong. Unfortunately for Kramnik, that's not what this is about. What this is about is plain and simple. You don't get to make false accusations when you are not an expert. You don't get to make false accusations when you do not have data to back yourself up. And that is the bottom line. And also, beyond that, it's not really about me. It's about a couple of other people, very clearly. When you hear um, Kramnik basically accusing people like Jocelyn or Bortnik or Dennis Lazic or others of cheating, um, they don't really have a way of responding to it. That is the bottom line. They really don't have a way of responding to it. So there's nothing they can do. So what I'm being loud about is because someone doesn't get to say these things without actual proof. They don't get to falsely accuse people over and over again without having to pay a price. That's the bottom line. And so that's the actual reason why I'm, why I'm being loud about this whole situation. It is not about me. Um, I know Kramnik wants to say, oh, he's being loud because he, because he cheated. He's hoping that I don't keep going my stats, blah, blah, blah. Unfortunately, that's not the truth and that's not the reality. Because as I know myself, with 100% certainty, I have not cheated. So for Kramnik, um, I would... Well, there you go. Uh, right there, Hikaru, GM Hikaru says that for certain he has not cheated. He has said it out loud. So the saga continues this uh, petition is being signed. There's uh, like 1,200 some situ uh, signatures to 1,500. And, uh, you know, last year it was the Hans Niemann versus Magnus Carlsen, but it was actually an over the board game. Uh, this year it's something else. Uh, so, you know, we get to be entertained while we scratch our heads and think about what's next. I just hope that they don't connect us to uh, the Neuralink because then it's really all over. And it's just computer kind of ruling us, the, and and not not vice versa. So who knows? Maybe uh, conflict uh, is uh, in order. Conflict resolution classes. Everybody, let's go take some so that we can review and uh, not fall into the trap of uh, robotic systems nowadays. That uh, you know they depend on more clicks and con conflict seems to be more often viewed than beautiful, lovely chess games. Anyway, so what do you think about all of this? Let us know and uh, hit like and subscribe to continue uh, more events that happen in chess. Au revoir.